everybody, this is Grace. In this video, I'm going to talk about, you know, that's how you can run across some people or a person or people, and they think that they know everything. They know better than, and you know, I did one recently about people who they think they know better than all the experts. This is on a different twist, okay? This is a different twist. And I'm going to use the, uh, the um, example I think many of us can uh, relate to. And that is, if remember, the Peanuts, Charlie Brown, and and the, the Charlie Brown and the Lucy scenes. Okay, some of them. And uh, I'm going to use that as an example, but then I'm going to go on with it. Um, but I remember, I, I, I truly, I think that it was when I was a child that um, I started putting the pieces together on this, like a young child, about how narcissistic Lucy is and uh, abusive. Well, I think many people realize that. I don't know. I can't speak for many people. <laughs> but, um, you know, she would do things that could totally contradict herself, you know, what she wants to put out there. Like, she has that psychiatric booth, you know, psychiatric help, five cents, you know, a little stand. And, uh, and she thinks she's just so wise and she just knows how to give that. <laughs> And she jingles that can and, you know, she, oh, listen to the money, listen to that five cents, such a wonderful, you know, wonderful sound to her. Okay. What does this sound like to you? To me, it sounds like histrionic behavior, not histrionic, but narcissistic. You could add in some histrionic behavior there, too. Um, I think that histrionics need to have a lot more attention paid to them, really. If there is histrionic personality disorder. I don't diagnose anybody, but... Pay attention to the behaviors of, yeah. Anyway, um, so, and then, you know, Lucy, the character, you know, the cartoon character, Lucy, she, um, like Charlie Brown, you know, needs her to hold the ball when they're playing football, or she wants to play football, and, uh, you know, she's going to hold the ball for him, and then she, as soon as he goes to kick it, she swish, you know, away, and he goes flying and falls, you know, flat on his back she hurts him okay you know that's the thing and then she's putting out that she has a psychiatric booth okay that she's a psychotherapist <laughs> oh man they do really think about it now i'm not, not at all at all saying a psychotherapist or this way you know therapist or this way not at all i'm talking about the arrogance of some people to believe that's what this lucy is about to me she's She's, she, and as a kid, can do this. You know, can give people advice and count, you know, ther you know, do therapy with them. And she believes it. Really seriously think about that. One of my pet peeves for many years, uh, several years, is to see such a thing online. And, uh, you know, to see people who believe that they can do therapy, they can give people advice on many topics, not just mental health, or not, and some of them diets, oh my goodness, I remember watching this one woman, she was telling everybody, she was not a doctor, healthcare professional, nothing, she just had gone on a diet, and a certain kind of diet plan, when everybody else to do it, because that's what works for everybody, no it doesn't, <laughs> period, in a story. You know, she took herself uh, upon herself to become everybody's health care professional. You know, I'm not in any way, shape, form, or fashion. And uh, I don't go around saying that I am. Oof, bump caused that. Uh, but anyway, I am a social and behavioral scientist, yes, but I'm not giving anybody any advice. Read the disclaimers below this video on YouTube. Now, from what I remember and, you know, think, I've seen, um, Charlie Brown would go to Lucy because he was depressed. Often, I don't know how often, would say de he's depressed. And, uh, you know, not feeling up to good enough, not feeling this. Which would be, well, I'm not going to diagnose, but to me, well, anyway, I'm not going di to diagnose anyway. Um, but to me, I'm thinking, in one way, what she does to him is so abusive. You know, the whole thing of, just think of somebody... You're trusting in somebody that they're going to hold the ball and you're going to kick it, but then they play a joke at you on the last, you know, second when you need it the most for them to be there. They take, they take the, you know, basically 
the ball out from under you or the rug out from you, under you with an expression, to use an expression, but yeah, you know, how that is if it happens time after time. Now, some people want to blame the victim and they would say, well, why does he, um, why does he go to her? Why does he uh, fall for it? Why does he, why does he, why does he? See, that's blaming the victim. Okay, she, he's her victim. Okay, now do those same people ever ask, the kind with that mentality, ask, why is she so bad? But yeah, how many of those kind, that kind would actually turn it back around and see the, the error of their ways and say, well, wait a minute, it's Lucy who's being bad. It's Lucy who is being arrogant, being abusive, being... Uh, narcissistic thinking that she can you know what does she do do that then do therapy on him you know you see what I'm saying but how many would but now to get back to this this part about um, Lucy now I have seen like I was saying for years people online claiming that they know better than the professionals they they can do it they can help anybody all you do has to pay all you have to do is pay them some of them actually attack, blame the victim in an attack mode. Um, it's all your fault. You do it. You, you shouldn't be doing that. And you shouldn't, you shouldn't. Blaming the victim. Okay. And some of them, they, they will give them your money. They want your money no matter what. And they claim that they know better, like I said, than the professionals. They, they can do, they think they can do psychotherapy or any kind of therapy, any kind of counseling. You know, I don't give advice to anybody, really. But um, and some of them, they put themselves out there as qu putting t quotation marks around as life coaches. Now, I'm not saying all of them are bad. All of them are arrogant. I'm not saying that. I said some. Listen to the words. And then so, there's some people who, they don't want money in that respect. They, they, they think that if they say things like as though they are voices of authority on it when they're not, when they're absolutely not. Um, but if they, you know, copycat somebody who is a voice of authority on it, and they just take their words and they, you know, copycat, and they use them as their own. They don't give the other person credit. They just keep it, you know, say that they know, therefore. <laughs> and they're looking for people for some way to use that to make money. Quite a bit of it is about money. Sometimes it's just attention. Sometimes it's a mix. Um, and some people, sometimes they're just innocent in it all around. But the ones who are after the money, yeah. And then they go and do something evil. And then they, they can go back and forth. I mean, just repeating nonstop back and forth. Doing, you know, acting as though, oh, you know, even saying things like, that person's a narcissist. And then they turn around and do something extremely narcissistic. I'm out here and there's a man trying to find his car. I can relate. So he's doing his little beep beep trying to find it. He's probably ten, maybe 10 years older than I. And uh, I can relate to that. I've lost, you know, I can remember going inside and out, you know, in and out of so many different places that at some point I went, wait a minute, you know, this place, where did I park my car? <laughs> of my SUV. Can, I can relate. And then those beep beeps are good. Yeah when you have it on your key. But anyway, I think I'll wrap this one up. I need to go in that store. Man, it's busy. It's Sunday. It's a Sunday, so Sunday morning. I just didn't expect to be this busy. And uh, I need to go in the grocery store. And, but I'm going to do more videos about things. And I'm going to try. I wrote a few th down. You know, things like we've heard. You know, expressions we've heard since we were young. And, um, you know, like books or comic strips or whatever. I'll talk to you.